Welcome to Pharmaceutical Microbiology Lecture. So, in this subject, we're going to discuss in the prelim the fundamentals of microbiology, introduction. So, under introduction, we'll discuss the applied and history of microbiology. So, in this chapter, uh, we're going to discuss the uh, different uh, multidisciplinary or disciplines that are applied for microbiology, especially the application of microbiology in pharmaceutical aspects. Next, uh, we'll discuss also different the different history, historical facts, uh, persons or people who are engaged in the study of microbiology or contributes in the study of microbiology. And we'll dis to discuss the cell structures and the taxonomic classifications. So we have the introductions, the two types of cells, the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, okay, the animal cells or the bacterial cells. Let's discuss also reproduction of organisms in their cells and their cells so how the uh, microorganisms um, reproduce example by budding process okay and taxonomy the arrangement so basic methods of studying uh, microorganisms so we have the examinations of morphological characteristics and uh, cultural characteristics evaluations of biochemical uh, characteristics how the organisms um, react to a certain compound or a certain protein and then we discuss also how the microorganisms live in different uh, uh, environment For example the pH uh, if the pH is considered to be lower so the, the term used there are um, these are bacteria that belongs to acidophiles for example next the basic methods of studying microorganisms so we have the examination of morphological characteristics. So we'll discuss the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So how can a, why, how a pharmacy student identify uh, both the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria through visual. So pwede yung sabihin natin yung gram-positive bacteria, these are color red. And gram-negative, parang blue siya. Okay, for example. So simple classification of gram staining, so filamentous bacteria with actinomyces, uh, nicardia, and streptomyces. These are bacteria having filaments or, or appendages in their structure. Through bacteria, we have the cocci, bacilli, bebrius, spirilla, and spirochetes, and others. So these are uh, examples of arrangement. Uh, we have also the shape. And we'll discuss also the characteristic and cultural and biochemical characteristics. Okay. Midterm, we'll discuss the control of microbial growth, principles, host parasite relationship, and antibacterial drugs. So, parasites will be discussed in midterm and even also in the finals. Then, finals, we'll discuss viruses, antiviral drugs, the microorganisms of human diseases, parasites of the and anti infective agents. So, we'll discuss different anti infective agents. Even in, in the lab, it will be also discussed by your teacher. So, in finals, we'll discuss also some public health. Uh, aspects and of course the application in pharmacy or in pharmaceutical uh, aspect next so what is what are the objectives of this study so number one the pharmacy can able to differentiate the and even identify the different uh, bacteria okay and uh, the pharmacist can able to identify different events people involved in the study of microbiology uh, can able to describe the different basic laboratory techniques and even equipment how to handle it how to operate okay appreciate the importance of the pharmacy in the research study and even in the applications of pharmaceutical of pharmacy in pharmacy this is very important because we are later on you will going to uh, in your pharmacology we're going to discuss about anti antibiotics so it will be also discussed here in microbiology next understand the anti aseptic techniques in both hospital and laboratory so how how the hospital is able to uh, maintain or to implement aseptic technique means ah uh, so free of bacteria aseptic free of bacteria free of microorganisms and know the spectrum of actions of bacteria meaning a, a pharmacy student can able to know what are the different mechanism or uh, of action or spectrum of actions how a bacterial cells inhibit the uh, reproductions of the bacteria or inhibit the bacterial actions or so, uh, how e, e antibacterial cells inhibit the different proteins that are being produced by bacteria 
in order to cause infections. Okay, next. So, in fundamentals of microbiology, we'll discuss, of course, in introduction of microbes. So, microbes are part of our daily lives. Okay, it is found everywhere. Okay, present in our surroundings influences our daily lives. So, for example, today we are now experiencing in pandemic the coronavirus. So, coronavirus is already uh, the World Health Organization already declared that coronavirus is already airborne. So, it is already everywhere. So, you can harbor uh, coronavirus anytime. Okay, like other also microorganisms. So, microbi microbiology. So meaning is micro means small that is uh, not visible to the naked eye it's a branch of biology that deals with the study of microscopic organisms called microbes which are composed only of one single cells bacterial cells uh, viral cells are one single cells 